one of my favorite Christmas traditions is sending and receiving holiday cards. Now, I actually think I like the receiving a little bit more and I'm kind of a freak when it comes to opening the mail. Uh, I don't let my husband do it without me because I wanna experience the card in all its glory. I wanna see the stamp, the return address, the lettering, the whole show, right? So once they're opened, then we add them to this cute board that I made that says Merry Mail. And this is how we collect them throughout the season. But here's where I kind of take my obsession up a notch. So after the holidays are over and all our cards have come in, I make these special notebooks. I've got a couple here. So I put our holiday card on the front and then on the inside, I add all of our holiday cards that we received that year. I just feel like these stories and these photos are too special to throw away. So if you've mailed me a card, I've saved it and it's all right here. And now this is part of our Christmas decorations. So with all that being said, this year I'm going to print all 92, yes 92, all of our holiday cards and I wanted to show you how you can do it too. I created three holiday card designs and thanks to Canon, you get to use them for free. I'm sharing them with you using the software called Cordial that allows you to edit almost every single aspect of these cards, including uploading your own family photo or two or three. It's so cool. So let's get started and see what kind of supplies we're gonna need. So today I'm using my Canon PIXMA TS9521C, which is a crafting printer. It can actually print up to 12 by 12, but today we're printing on seven by 10 and four by six. And now the whole reason why I got inspired to make my, these cards myself was because Canon now has this multi-pack of greeting card paper and envelopes. It's so cool, it's my favorite paper, the double-sided matte photo paper. And in here, the paper is already cut to seven by 10 and pre-scored. So when you fold it in half, it makes a five by seven. You also don't have to go hunting around, you know, multiple stores to find blank envelopes because all the envelopes are in here. So I'll be using five packs of this today. Then to make the address labels, I'm gonna use the restickable photo paper. It actually comes in its own package, but I had a ton of these multi-packs of the magnetic photo paper and the sticker paper. So I'm just using these. I've also got my holiday stamps, my paper trimmer for the address labels, a nice metallic Sharpie, and my laptop. I think, I think that's all we need. For all three designs, I tried to add some fun holiday elements that were gonna be easy to personalize to match your family photo. I know that I put a lot of energy and effort into you know, the outfits and the whole show of that photo shoot, right? And I know that you guys probably do too. So I really wanted to just make designs that would let our special photos stand out. Now I'm gonna show you how to edit each card design. But for you to get access, you're gonna to need to click the link in my description box below and then visit our shop. So when you're in the shop to get these files for free, you're gonna need to enter the code Canon Holiday at checkout. Then you'll get two emails, one from me and one from the company called Cordial. When you get the Cordial email, that's where you can click into the software to edit all these designs. So you'll see here um, we have the vertical uh, option and then we have the address labels and then we have the horizontal version, which is what I've made for my family. So the cool thing here is that you can, uh, let's just click on the photo first. Right here, you can replace the image. So you just click to replace and upload your own family's image. Then from there, you can click in each one of these letters is <clears throat> editable and you just click this little color button here and if you wanted to take a color from, uh, I'm gonna copy this hex code first. If you wanted to take a color from your card, you can use the eyedropper to do that. Or you can add your own hex color like I did. Um, so you can color these letters to match your family photo. The address labels, you click here to replace the image. And again, this is like if you wanna make address labels, right, you can. Uh, then you click in here to add your family's information. Uh, you can say joyful mail, and that's another thing. If you didn't like the word um, joyful, you can put Mary across here. You can put whatever you want. 
So it's just, it, this is such a cool software because I've never been able to bring you an editable design that you can really have this much control over. So when you're ready, right here you can click save changes and then it will let you download this file. So you're gonna have to download three files total if you're gonna make the address labels. So here I'm gonna make it a PDF. I'm gonna click next. And up here at the paper size, I'm going to choose the design default size, which means it's gonna save it to seven by 10 that I designed it at. We don't need to print multiples per page because they won't fit. Um, and then you click download PDF and it will download for you. All right, so next up is berry leaves. And uh, berry leaves and tape are very similar in that I drew these cute little elements uh, on my iPad and then um, and then you're gonna have to choose which ones you like and you can just delete the color scheme that you don't. So when you click in here, it's gonna look a little bit weird because they're all layered together. Um, and then you can click into the layers panel and then you can just delete which elements that, you, that you're not into. So um, like for instance, beige berries if you don't like that you can delete delete and then let's say you wanted to delete the pink berries as well um then you're left with the green berries and then on the inside you can click in to write your own to type your own little family update add whatever you'd like add one photo or more photos uh really this is kind of like whatever you want to do. So I've created like a foundation for you, but then you get to, I mean, you can even move this around uh, and it can look however you want. You can change all the fonts. You can change their size. You can drag the box bigger. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. All right, so next up is tape and it's very similar. I created four cute little tapes. We've got pink polka dot. We've got Christmas trees. We've got just beige and then these black and white stripes. And to access all these, they're all here in the layers. So if you knew you wanted the black one, you would just delete the other three and then there's your black tape. You can move it anywhere that you'd like. Uh, you can add more of them if you'd like by hitting the duplicate button. Um, and then right here, if you didn't want it to say, have yourself a merry little Christmas, write whatever you want. Uh, add your family info and image by replacing the image. Uh, same thing, we've got vertical, horizontal of each one, and then um, address labels are the same thing. All of them have these cute little designs and uh, you can go in here. And like I said, if you don't want the pink, uh, you know, you can delete, oops, I'm deleting the wrong, I'm deleting the address there. If you don't want the pink tape and you want a different color tape, let's say you want the black, the Christmas trees, you can do that and then this rectangle in the back, you can actually change the color of that up here. So you can click to fill this color. Maybe you want it like a little bit green or like pale green like that, right? And then you can change the font color to match. So now we're gonna get ready to print. I'm gonna open up this pack of paper here and then we're gonna get all set up for printing. So in this package, we have a really nice piece of cardboard. So crafters, save that, right? Save all the good cardboard. Uh, we've got our packs of envelopes. And then we also have our greeting cards. Okay, two more pieces of really nice cardboard. My cardboard hoarder. Okay, so this is what we wanna pay attention to first. So I'm going to give this a little fold along the score line. And every one of these cards has this tiny little like 16th of an inch uh, that's longer. So when you find out what side that's on, you want to make sure that the longer side is facing up in your printer. So I'm going to put these in here and I'm going to adjust my printer guides to the paper and then flip this down. So when I flip this down, it's gonna tell me, uh, do I want to change my printer settings? And I do wanna change them to seven by 10 and matte. So now my printer knows what paper we have going on. So I've got my card up here and we're gonna click to print. 
Okay, where we've got the Canon 9500 series, which is this printer. I'm gonna do page setup, and then we're gonna click in and make sure to select the right printer. I'm gonna do seven by 10 borderless, and okay. Now I'm also gonna go into the printer itself and then do, it's on, okay. And then we're gonna feed from the rear tray. Our photo, our media type is photo, and then we're gonna choose best. So now we're ready to print. Here we go. Okay, we've got our card. So cute. So now when you're ready to print the inside, you're gonna make sure that your card is flipped with the photo on the top and you're gonna put it back in. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go into that file and sometimes the printer settings are saved and sometimes they aren't. I don't know what happens there. Okay, so seven by 10 borderless, it's all there and print quality is all there. Okay, so we're gonna print the inside now. Okay, here we go, and it's so cute. I love it. So now we're going to print the address labels. We've got all these restickable photo papers right here. Again, more good cardstock. And I'm going to put them into the printer again back here, adjusting the printer guides. And again, it's gonna give me the option to uh, change what we're printing on. So we're printing four by six and it's also matte. So now the printer knows what it's printing on. And now we can print our address labels. So pretty much the same settings, except now we're gonna have to change the paper setting here to four by six, borderless. Okay, print. Our address labels are done and they're so cute. So now we need to cut them apart. They're one inch wide, each of them. So I'm just gonna throw them in my paper trimmer here and trim them down to size. Get these all situated. And then the next part is assembling the cards, which is always my favorite. So I am going to add a few little pieces of confetti inside my card. Then I'm gonna fold it up and insert it into the envelope with the folded end in, going in first so that when the recipient gets the confetti, it's going to fall all over their table or floor. <laughs> okay, give it a good lick. And now we're ready for the label. So this is my favorite part with this little label. We're gonna peel the backing off. So what we're gonna do is take and add it to the front with just our return address information showing. And then what we're gonna do is wrap the rest of it back around. So then on the back it says, joyful mail, and someone goes to open it. So obviously you could use your printer to address all your cards, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do them by hand this year. So I've got my metallic Sharpie, and it might actually be a better idea to do this on all the cards before you stuff them in case you mess up, then you're gonna have to open the card and whatever. So I'm gonna write the person's name real cute. And then add their address as well in like black font. So I'm gonna do something like this and then add my little stamp. And then when this comes in the mail, this is just, I hope this is just a little piece of joy for that person getting this card. I like to keep it real. And when I said I'm gonna make 92 cards, I really mean it. So I'm gonna time lapse it for you right now. Uh, I'm gonna make all of my cards and then we'll come back and I'll show you what they look like.
Christmas cards are ready for the post office and I really look forward to that trip. I have to say my experience with printing and hand addressing was, was really nice. I had my music going and I was nervous that the, that the writing was going to take me too long, but it totally didn't with the printing and the writing it like it all worked together. If anything was a little bit buggy, it was like getting the address labels going, but they're so cute that I just dealt with the, the getting the little stickers going. So I hope that this video helps inspire you to maybe print your own holiday cards this year. And if you're finding it a little bit late, maybe you could change up the designs to fit for like a Happy New Year's card or maybe even a Valentine's Day card. Cause I think that like the pink tape version would look super cute for Valentine's Day. And if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments below. And please, please, please share your creations with me on Instagram. I absolutely love to see what you guys are making using my designs. I'd like to wish you all a very happy crafting and a happy holidays.